everybody and welcome back to the channel if you're returning or hello if you're new my name is Meg and I am a flight attendant for a UK airline and I post predominantly travel and cabin crew content which is what today's video is going to be so welcome to another vlog guys um this is my first short haul vlog since like July I want to say I feel like I haven't vlogged short haul for so long I am semi ready I've got my dressing gown on because it's freezing but I've done my makeup I haven't gone to heavy on the makeup because I've literally got one flight this evening and that's it. Haven't done my hair yet because I'm gonna put my dress on first and then do my hair. But hello and welcome. Today is day, technically day two. Yesterday I had four sectors. I had Manchester there and back and then Brussels there and back. But I didn't vlog yesterday because it was just two there and back. So there was nothing to vlog. But today I am off to Zurich for the night. So I've actually been to Zurich a couple of times before, but both times that I've been, I've not really had the chance to actually explore. Whereas this time, I get there quite late tonight. I don't know what time I clear actually, but I want to say it's around 10 something. Obviously, they're an hour ahead, so. All right. I don't leave until, I don't know exactly when my pickup is at the moment, but like maybe two, three-ish, something like that. So I've got like the whole morning there and some of the afternoon to explore, which I'm very happy about because I feel like I've never really had the chance to explore Zurich. I'm obviously going to see if there's a Christmas market around. And then tomorrow evening, I come back to Heathrow and then I go to Hanover in Germany and I have a stand over there. So I have two nights there instead of one. I get there again late tomorrow night and then I have the whole of Thursday. Friday, which is day five, I have back to Heathrow and then in Edinburgh there and back. And then I'm done for the week. But obviously I've got stopovers in Zurich and Hanover and a decent amount of time in both. So I'm gonna obviously vlog this little Euro tour for you guys. I have just got my nails done today like Christmassy nails, hope you like them. It's about two o'clock now. I am gonna leave the house in about half an hour. I just need to obviously put my uniform on, do my hair, put my lipstick on and then just finish packing. I packed my suitcase, I just need to pack my topper bag. But other than that, I'm more or less ready to go. But I thought I would do a quick intro at home, let you guys know what this week of work is gonna entail. I love a little Euro tour. Some of you will probably know I actually love like four or five day Euro tours where you get to stay in multiple places. One of my favourite trips to do for sure. But I report at five to six, which is obviously a bit of an annoying time to start because it's in the middle of rush hour, which is why I'm leaving at 2.30. Normally I leave the house about three hours before my report time. But today I'm giving myself a little bit longer just because when I leave, it's going to be school kicking out time. Pretty much going to be on the road for like school and rush hour. So I want to give myself that little bit extra time. So yeah, hope you're all looking forward to another short haul vlog. I am going to go and finish getting ready now and head off to work. But I will probably see you all in Zurich. Good evening. Oh my God, a huge spot on my chin. Thank you, skin. So it's like 10 past one in the morning. I was planning on going straight to bed when I got here, but all of the crew were going for a drink. So I went for one or two. Here I am at 10 past one in the morning. Um, so tomorrow we are gonna put the water on. So sorry if you can hear that. We are going to the Lindt chocolate factory in Zurich. They give you like a tour of the factory and like, I think they tell you like how the chocolate's made and everything. Some free chocolate. And there's a cafe there. Where you can get like Lindt hot chocolate and things like that. And I love Lindt, it's like my favorite chocolate. Kim's is my favorite, but then Lindt. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're meeting, we're going for 11. So we're meeting downstairs at half past 10. So I was like, do you know what? I need to go to bed. Hey, have I got a massive spot? That's really annoyed me. Yeah, we don't get picked up until three tomorrow, so we've got majority of the day. I can't believe how easily that face wash takes my makeup off, it's insane. But yeah, got here at like 11-ish and then went downstairs for a couple of drinks and now I am going to bed because I'm very tired. So chocolate factory tomorrow. Maybe if we've got time after, we might go and see what the Christmas market's saying. The plan in Hanover is getting, we're gonna get the train to Hamburg, which is like less than an hour away. 
and go to the huge Christmas market in Hamburg. It'll be more of a Hamburg vlog than a Hanover vlog, but I think we are going to check out the Hanover um, Christmas market as well, like after the Hamburg one. But anyway, I am going to get in bed because I'm very tired, so I will see you all in the morning for chocolate. <laughs> Welcome to the chocolate tour at the Lindt Home of Chocolate. Welcome to our world. Eine Welt voller Leidenschaft für Schokolade. A world full of love for chocolate. Hier werden Sie auf der Chocolate Tour begleiten. Take an audio guide and let us guide you. Go. Oh. How many pumps did you do? Three. Give us your review. Good. Mm, I feel like it could uh. be warmer. Could be warmer? <laughs> oh, yummy. That's good. <laughs> <laughs>
I got some gifts. So before I show you what I got, um, that was so nice. I'm so glad we went. We literally got so much free chocolate. I'm so chocolated out. And in the cafe at the end as well and got a hot chocolate. It was really good. I'm so glad we got to go. This was what I bought in the actual shop. It's like a pick and mix. It's got eight in there. What did I get? I got salted caramel, pistachio. I've not tried pistachio lint yet. Caramel, double chocolate, mint, coconut. I got lots of different ones for me and Barney to try as gifts. Well, I bought this big bar of just lint Swiss premium chocolate for me and Barney to either have when we get home or have at Christmas, whenever. I got this bar of lint vegan for my friend Reka. She's probably watching this, so breaker this is for you and this is all the free chocolate i got i got this free little dark orange lint square which i got in the footage where like the little machine was making chocolate that was so cool that's what i got from that and the pick and mix i got i think that's white chocolate white and caramel don't know which way around regular I think that's dark chocolate, raspberries and cream. That's one of my favourites. It's caramel, uh, double chocolate. I don't know what that one is. I can't remember, but I'm going to put that in my bag with the rest of the little ones. And that was everything that I got. We were there for a couple of hours, to be fair. We did the tour. It was like an audio tour. So you got this little like walkie talkie thing that you could listen to, but I was just interested in eating the free chocolate and like seeing the machines and stuff. I'm gonna keep this bag because it's so cute. But it's like, what time is it now? I would have said it's like half past one. So it's only like 35 minutes until wake up. So I think I'm just gonna chill for half an hour. I've already done my makeup, so I don't need to do that later on. I just literally need to pack my case, put my uniform on and do my hair and that's it. And we are off back to Heathrow. I think we've got, I can't remember exactly, but we've got a bit of time between our flight back to Heathrow and then our flight to Hanover this evening. I think I'm going to have a look in Duty Free when I get back to the airport and see if I can get some aftershave for Barney for Christmas. But yeah, I've had a lovely day in Zurich. I'm so happy I finally got a Zurich night stop where I had time to actually go out and do stuff. We get to Hanover later, I think I am just going to go straight to bed. No drinks tonight because we are getting up at, well, we're leaving the hotel at 9.30 tomorrow morning to go and get the train to Hamburg. Really excited for, um, the Christmas markets look amazing in Hamburg, so I'm really excited to go. Obviously, we'll be bringing you all along with me. That was such a cute little day, and I love lint as well, so it's like, it's so cool to say that I've been to the lint factory in Zurich, in Switzerland. I am going to chill out now, guys probably won't speak to you again before I leave so I shall see you in Hanover hello sorry about this angle I'm sat on my bed I am in Hanover guys finally it's very late it's like 11 something here so 10 something at home but I've got some vegetarian sushi from Itsu and some salt and vinegar prawn crackers that I'm gonna sit and eat because I'm hungry and I'm gonna go to sleep I'll hopefully getting the train to Hamburg tomorrow morning to go to the Christmas market. So I basically just want to sleep and be refreshed for tomorrow. Some of the crew are going for drinks, but I was like, no, it's bedtime. It's bedtime and sushi time. Yeah, the flights were fine. The flight back from Zurich was fine. The flight to Hanover was so easy. Not many passengers at all. I'm tired now. So I thought I'd give you a quick update, but I am going to eat because I'm very hungry and then I'm going to sleep. So I will see you all in the morning.
whispering because it's very early. It's like 5 a.m. Sorry that I didn't catch up with you yesterday evening. I didn't end up getting back to my room until gone nine o'clock last night, which is much later than I wanted to get back. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this because it's a bit TMI, but I mentioned in my last video, my Christmas haul, that I wasn't very well last week and I had to get antibiotics and I thought that it was going. I finished the course of antibiotics and it feels like it's come back to the point where I slept awfully last night because I was in so much pain and ibuprofen don't seem to be getting rid of it. Obviously today I'm meant to be doing three sectors, but I feel like at the moment, if I still feel like this when we get to Heathrow, I might have to just offload myself and not do the Edinburgh because I don't think it's worth putting myself through a long day of being in pain. I also want to call my doctor again and I feel like if they tell me to come in, I won't have time to go in today if I finish my duty because I don't finish until 10 to 2 today, which means I won't get home until about probably about half past three, four-ish, dependent on traffic. It'll probably be too late to go into the doctors by then. Might not, you know, we might get to Heathrow in a few hours and I might feel all right. I just feel like work right now, especially a long day at work, is probably the last place that I want to be. I feel like I need to look after myself first. So basically, yeah, the reason I didn't catch up with you all last night is because I got back to my room and I felt so, like, I was in pain and I was so tired, like, disorientatingly tired. I just didn't want to speak to anyone. I just wanted to go to sleep. didn't actually go to sleep. I got in bed and I couldn't get to sleep because of this pain that I'm in. Just getting ready for work now, I've done my hair, but I haven't done anything else yet. Got 40 minutes until pick up, so I'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and pack my case and get ready to leave. Yesterday was really good though, to be fair. Um, Hamburg was so much fun. The Christmas markets were really nice, actually. I don't think I got very much footage of the actual markets because i was just i had my hands full and i was having too much fun we won't see you all now until i'm at home and i'll either be at home this afternoon or at home this morning because i've had to offload myself but i will keep you all updated it's been a really fun trip very memorable quite tiring actually i've had two quite long days of like doing a lot you hey guys i better go and get ready so i'll see you all in the I did it guys, I did all three sectors. <laughs> After being so dramatic this morning, I have struggled today to be fair. It's been a very long day. It's literally quarter past five now and I've only just got in the door. But we made it and we're on days off. I'm just gonna quickly end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because my next four videos are gonna be vlogmas. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you're subscribed. Love you all so much and Merry Christmas. It is the 1st of December today and I'll see you in Vlogmas.